Tommy Tallarico. Let's talk about some lighthearted things today, okay? Let's decompress a little and let's talk about some Tommy Tallarico. Let's read some comments. Rad Rob says, in television released another email update. Yes, I saw that. I have the screenshots. I'm going to cover that email update on my next live stream on Thursday night on the Amico because that email is too long to do in one video. The Miko will not launch in 2024 or 2025. A good number of people who have pre-orders have lost interest, of course. And they've also lost interest of getting their $100 deposit back because of all the loopholes you have to jump over and all these little barricades and boundaries that Amico has set so that you don't try to ask for your $100 deposit back. That's the real sad part about it. Pierre Trombone is insane. He's the most he's the first to defend the foot bath if anyone says anything slightly negative on uh, Facebook. Pierre Trombone, aka friggin' Francois Tremblay, is a scumbag shill. I hate this little narrative that's going around, like, oh, you know, um, oh, oh, P- uh, Francois Tremblay is so uh, innocent and so f- funny. He's just so quirky doing the little guitar. No, the guy's a friggin' scumbag, all right? There's no, like, he, no one gets a pass. He's a scumbag. He's friggin' openly lying to people. He knows this thing's garbage and he's still shilling for it 100% just so he can have friends with friggin' Tommy Tallarico. Dead Zone says, when Tommy showed free Sesame Street and Care Bears Care Cart free web games as Amico games, it was a scam from there. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. So that's when it was a scam. I think it was from before that when the... When the when that angel investor that they had pulled out, whether it was at E three or some other con uh, game con event, I think that's what in my okay, in my opinion he had the scam in the back burner from day one, but it really went into full force when that angel investor that he had pulled out his big investor. Uh, that's when I think the thing started. That Sesame Street and Care Bears thing, technically, right? When they're as Amico games and he says they're exclusive, he's technically right because you're using the touchpad and the controller on these Care Bear and Sesame Street games. So technically that version is exclusive to the Amico. He wasn't lying there. Everything Tommy Tallarico said was like some sort of vague statement where it can mean this way one way and that way another way. That was the genius of what Tommy did. That was the genius of his friggin' hopping around like a greasy leprechaun to live stream to live stream saying these things because it can be taken one way or the other way. He never really like, he was right in the middle. That's the genius about him. And Round Earth Video Gamer, yeah, I saw those pictures. I even saved them just in case if friggin, um, what's his face? If friggin, uh, he tries to delete them or something. I saved those pictures as well. Those Tommy Tallarico at the backgammon table. I'll probably bring that up as well on the live stream. Um, yep, you got some more uh, awards. Uh, I mean, more winnings for him. He got Tommy Tallarico finished third. On, no, on three finishes at 2023 Wild West shoot that held in October 4th and 9th. And then there was that, and then there was that, and there was that. Yeah, okay, yeah. So basically, I'll go over the picture of Tommy and the email update on Thursday on the live stream. So what do you have to say about the Amico Home? Well, DJ Cuck hasn't been really making Amico, Home, uh, Amico Forever streams recently, right? Maybe he actually... St- He's only been doing them once a month too because there's not that much to shill about, right? His whole shilling stage in the beginning where he did Amico Home, uh, Amico Forever every single week, that was in the beginning. Now that it's kind of died down and this whole Amico Home came out, he only does his Amico Forever only when he's told to be doing done it when Alvarado has a new thing to talk about. So since the email update was just released recently, we can expect most likely at Amico Forever happening this Wednesday, right? Because that's what they're going to talk about. Oh, he's going to be like, oh, DJ Cook, there's an email update. This fat, lard, this shill, piece of garbage, lying to us on live stream, along with Retro Advisory Board, along with Pirate Chip Alvarado, along with Mike Molest, and then along with friggin' Bacon Ice Cream. They're going to be all there talking this whole, hey, guys, it's great. They gave us an update. Yeah, that's the minimum required thing they should do is give us a damn update. What happened to the updates when Holly and her two dogs was wondering what happened to her investment money on Republic? That Republic page has comments which you can't even sort by date. You actually have to friggin' do show more, show more, show more to get to all the recent friggin' comments which takes forever. Those recent comments, you have people in there basically saying to them, hey, why don't you give us an update? Hey, why is it that there's this 
fat beer gut lard named DJ Cuck who's doing the updates and freaking talking about Amico, but you guys at Amico aren't actually doing official freaking announcements because that's when they were in panic mode and that's when it's okay for some content creator like DJ Cuck to talk about the Amico and get, say things that aren't true because it's okay. He's not working for the company and he's a content creator. He just, he just wasn't informed. That's what they're always going to use. Pirate Ship Alvarado, that piece of garbage, he comes on a Halloween stream dressed as a pirate, okay? Literally listening to our videos when we call him Pirate Ship Alvarado. He's dressed as a pirate. He's hiding the damn gold coins. Tommy Tallarico, I'm still pissed at you for friggin' try deleting those Batgammon videos. That's our, that's our new lesson. Anytime there's video or a picture of Tommy Tallarico from now on on YouTube or on Reddit or wherever, if there's a picture of him or a video of him talking even if it's audio with no video, I don't care. D download and save that video, okay? Archive it, because that Tommy guy is gonna go around deleting all these videos. What? What is it? Why did he have the need to delete the videos? What What was it? He just doesn't want to let people to know that he's having a good time at Batgammon? Like, dude, you're not even the CEO anymore. Did someone tell you, Tommy, not to do it? Did someone report to you? And then friggin' uh, shill Adam, that piece of garbage, probably came to you and said this is not a good look to have to for you to be in fun mode and having a good time you need to be disappeared tommy and uh act like you're having a bad time because remember the last the last news that we have of tommy tallarico like when he disappeared was he's going through a rough patch right remember remember that was the last thing we heard that okay his father passed away he's going through a rough patch tommy tallarico selling his uh SNES dev kit and all the Spider-Man collection and things like that. He's downsizing. And then there's stories out there like, oh, uh, Tommy may have divorced his, uh, his wife may have divorced him or something like that. So that's the last thing we remember of Tommy going through a rough time. So the last thing I think Tommy wants is for us to know that he's having a good time friggin' winning and backgammon and gambling all the gold coins away, right? That makes sense. That actually makes sense why he would want these videos deleted and friggin' erased right cuz in the in, in the video when i watched it like he it's he he definitely sounds like he's having a good time he's like swearing a little not not like vulgar swearing like he's swearing a little like he he's making jokes with his opponent he's saying ah oh, you know this and that you know there's a mishap with the timer where he accidentally pressed the power off button and the freaking timer reset so they had to redo the the game <laughs> like it looked like he was having a good time all that i just think they don't want us to visualize Tommy having a good time right now. I think that's why they went and freaking deleted those videos. We want, he, they, they want to push the narrative that Tommy is, is, is in a bad mood and that he's very upset about what happened with the Amico and all the failed, the failed basically investing and fail this. And they want to paint a picture like he's going through a rough patch. That's what I think it is. They don't want, but what's the big deal, Tommy? You're not even CEO anymore, right? We get it. Your Amico home's going to release. We get it. The shovelware garbage with shovelware games on friggin' cell phones, a 2016 friggin' cell phone chip in a foot bath, these type of games. We get it. It's going to release. Don't worry. You're not going to get in trouble. You covered all the loopholes. Sh Shill Adam, Nick Richards blasting prairie dogs, and friggin' Hans Slippish getting that 500,000 grant money to make the game. You guys cover the loopholes, you're good. It looks like you're not gonna get in trouble. So it's fine, Tommy, you can come back. We see you at Video Games Live friggin' air guitaring, which I think in the beginning when he did Video Games Live, he actually used to play the thing, but I think now he's getting like, it's just getting too old and tired. So now he's friggin' lip syncing or whatever, air guitaring. That's fine, I don't even care about that, whatever. You made good music in Earthworm Gym 2 and Earthworm Gym 1. I respect you for that, Tommy. But this whole deleting the videos, that kind of pissed me off. It, it really did. I wish, I was hoping to see more videos of you like there and then we can hear you talk because you are the icon. We don't care. We don't care about the Intellivision Amico. We don't care about the Amico home. It was you, Tommy, that was interesting because if there was any other CEO or any other person going around from live stream to live stream defending this thing and trying to sell it, no one would friggin' care. It was your charm and your friggin' charisma, Tommy Tallarico, and your greased back hair and your Ferrari and your house full of all these wacky, cool figurines and Willy Wonka. It was because of you. That's why we were interested in this thing. That's that, that, that's that's actually, Pat and Ian said it best. Ian said it the best. He said, uh, this whole Intellivision Amico, instead of actually selling the console, what we're doing is selling Tommy Tallarico. That's, that was exactly 100% true. Because anyone in the retro gaming community, which we are in, 
which can be a freak show at some times, which we are in, we can recognize good games from bad games in, a, in like two seconds. So what kept us interested in the television Miko? It was your story, Tommy Tallarico. It was you. Okay, so come back to YouTube, make some videos, say woohoo, okay, do all this stuff. It's all good, all right? Yeah, you're gonna get made fun of. Yeah, we're gonna make fun of you. We're gonna use metaphors and similes to talk about you, but that's just the name of the game, all right? You got the 17 million, you're friggin' hit it somewhere in the Cayman Islands on the pirate ship or something, so it's all good. Stop deleting videos, and guys, Anytime you see something of Tommy Tellerico, save the video, save the picture, archive it. Tell me in the comments, like, thank you, Round Earth Video Gamer. Let me just click on your name. You're think, I think your name is Joker. Yeah, thank you, Joker, for freaking telling me to copy paste that into Google so I could see the picture. Thank you. Like, that's what I want. I want people to tell me Tommy spotted here or this Amico news or this, this thing. That's good. All right. That's enough.